Hello everyone, myself Dr. Mahesh Chaugli. Welcome you to this section. Today we are going to discuss regarding the syllabus of engineering mechanics. Let's have the glance on the teaching scheme. Lectures allocated for this subject, for this course is 3 hours per week. Credits are 3 credits are there. And evaluation scheme or we can say the examination scheme will be semester examination 1 of 25 marks, semester examination 2 of will be 25 marks, semester end examination will be of 50 marks. Course objectives are there to explain statics along with fundamental theorems and laws governing it, to illustrate equilibrium and its application to find unknown forces and reaction acting on the body by using Lamy's theorem method of virtual work. To locate the centroid and calculate moment of inertia of plane composite figures. To study kinetics of linear and circular motion by using Newton's laws of motion. To discuss impact, its types, coefficient of restitution and collision of bodies. What are the course outcomes? On completion of this course, the students will be able to do the resolution and composition of forces for concurrent and non-concurrent force system and find unknown force acting on a body and draw the free body diagram and analyze the body in static equilibrium. Locate the position of centroid of plane figures and calculate moment of inertia of different standard and composite figures. Analyze the bodies in dynamic equilibrium and solve the kinetics of problems. Explain and evaluate the phenomenon of impact and behavior after impact. Let's have a glance now on unit wise course content. Unit 1 Fundamentals of Statics which comprises basic concepts and fundamental laws, force, moment and couple, system of forces, resultant, resolution and composition of forces, Varignon's theorem, laws of moments. So this will require 7 hours for the teaching. You need to associate it with the equilibrium which comprises Lamy's theorem, free body diagram, equilibrium of forces, equilibrium of equilibrium conditions, surface friction of bodies on horizontal and inclined planes, beams, types of loads, types of supports, Analysis of simple beams, virtual work method for support reactions. Unit 3, it is centroid and moment of inertia which is uh, requiring 7 hours for the teaching. It includes centroid and center of gravity, moment of inertia of standard shapes from the first principle, parallel and perpendicular axis theorem, moment of inertia of plane and composite figures, radius of gyration. Unit 4, Kinetics of linear motion which requires 8 hours. It includes introduction to kinematics of linear motion which uh, do not uh, include the numerical examples but kinetics of linear motion, Newton's laws, Diagonal principles, work energy principles, linear impulse momentum principle. It requires uh, numerical example study as well. Unit 5 Kinetics of circular motion, introduction to Kinematics of circular motion, no numerical on this. Then uh, rotation, uh, rotation with the constant and variable angular acceleration, centripetal and centrifugal forces, condition of skidding and overturning. It requires 8 hours of teaching. Unit 6, which associated with the impact and collision of bodies, which uh, requires 5 hours, to, 5 hours of teaching, impact, uh, types of impact, Laws of uh, laws of uh, law of conservation of momentum, coefficient of restitution, numerical examples on the direct central impact. Then there are there are various uh, books available for this uh, study, but the important uh, the book is the engineering mechanics by the Bhavi Katti, as well as you can uh, refer engineering mechanics by R S Kurmi, and there is also there are many books are there. So one more video is there uh, in this channel. You can refer that video and you can come to know the other books which are important.
laboratory experiments are there which uh, having the cie marks of 50 marks are there credit one is there and two hours per batch it is also allocated there are 12 experiment are there which are included in the this uh, term work so those 12 experiments are there first one is to verify the equilibrium using universal force table second is laws of polygonal forces next is to verify lamis theorem by using jeep crane next is to find internal forces using jeep crane next is bell crank lever next is a support reaction of beam next is a fletcher's trolley next is a centrifugal force and uh, thereafter uh, exercises 9 to 12 there are drawing sheets associated with the this teaching scheme so thank you very much for uh, joining with us and uh, similarly stay tuned with the all other uh, videos associated with the different aspects of the engineering and general field